Yay! Yay! Ooh, awesome. <laughs> Just updating this card. There we go. Paste that one everywhere because we're exciting. That everywhere. All good on your ends? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Bottoms. Oh! <laughs> That's a moment with Haka that you were about to, like, you know, sure foot yourself in. Um, it's kind of like that. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Uh, where are we? There we go. Madness. Right. Some good hello over here as well. Good hello stream. Some good hello Facebook. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That'll do. Can't be bothered posting any more places now. So that's everywhere. It's the usual. Right. So, welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate. Session... what what number is it again? Is it... Oh, that's right, it's session 100! Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> no expense spared production value. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah. Session 100. What the fuck? It's the 6th of August 2021. I'm Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Yeah, I'm Adrian, and I play Arya Bluebird, the half old druid. For the hundredth time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sean, and I play Bastille, the Warforged Cleric. Hooah! Hi, I'm Scott. I play Kbombar, who is. Acting High Commander of the Golden Order of Paladins! Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and I'm Kelly, I play Serene the Furball Granger. Hey! I have nothing interesting to us. Except that you're here and you're very welcome to be. Yay. Ooh. Um, yeah. So, here we are. We are. Isla slash Hannah Liss for this week, sadly. Um, but I believe her exact words were, I told you everything you needed to know. Good luck. So that was handy. Over. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, first things first, then, I suppose. You have a choice to make for session 100. Adding your chips? No. Oh. No. There's only ever one answer to that. Yes. <laughs> so, you guys have the choice between two things, and you all need to agree which one you guys are going to take, okay? Mm -hmm. So, is everybody understanding the rules so far? Use well, both of them? If we get both? That, that's... That's the rule. Oh, that good yeah, deal. Yeah, he's, he's, I love how this could be two terrible options. He's, he's are all excited. <laughs> um, I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Two apocalypses, that'll do. Um, oh, man. <laughs> damn it, another 100 sessions? What? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Choice one. Right? Mm -hmm. Not going to list these in any particular order. Other than this one, probably has the most detail to it. Okay, everybody, everybody, paying attention. Yeah, good. Yeah, good, good. good. I'm already. Tell us, tell us. Choice one. Gain an immunity to a damage type of your choice between these <sighs> options: poison, acid, fire, cold, or lightning or thunder. Oh. Right. <laughs> 
And you bashed Ella big sizes for that one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Take that list out. Uh, yeah. What is an acid fire called lightning thunder? I think the dragons. Acid. Called thunder. What was the last one? Fire and lightning. Poison, acid, fire, cold, lightning, thunder. Is lightning and thunder two different damages? Yep. Thunder is sound damage. Lightning is zap, 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 ouch. Exactly that definition right. in the rule book, by the okay. way. Don't that's ever that's look that's it up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're like, never look at the rule book. You'll learn I've been lying for a hundred sessions. Um, Holy shit, that is. And that was immunity, not resistance. Yeah, so you pick one, you'll get immunity to it. We all get the same immunity. Nope, you we pick. All have to nope, the same one. nope, nope. The choice is the immunity. And Ooh, then you pick okay. which one you want. You could all have different ones, for example. Okay. Right? That's how good that choice is, right? That's well, disgusting. Do you want to hear choice two? Mm hmm. Yeah. The mystery box! No, I'm kidding. Um, uh. box, the, box. <laughs> the box could be an immunity for all we know. A <laughs> uh, hundred thousand XP. What? Hundred thousand. Yeah. So that's like three levels. Okay. Yeah. You would hit level fifteen. So, it's a tough choice. <coughs> okay, well, he box. here's what I'm... The box! <laughs> the box! The mystery box! Level 15 is something we could do. The other thing is something we can never do. So, it's yeah. kind of a kind of for me. Out of, um, like, choices like that, I, I never generally go for, like, the, le the mm -hmm. pre level up. So, I probably wouldn't go for the the immunity. Yeah. yeah. But why don't you put your just, votes in to roll 20 then? If you are happy, if you are convinced one way or other, those that are locked in, type away. Looking at, like, <laughs> up to level 15, there's nothing there. Like, it's an, you get a feat and then it's just nothing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, mean, I'm not bad at this balancing but, game, eh? After all, I have, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes okay at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give us a wee... <laughs> Uh, chuck it in roll 20 so folks can see it on the stream. Chan. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, also, to be fair, that would be 8th level spells. Spells you get might be really cool, though. But we can't afford to use them. Their material costs are outrageous. Just like gem. I guess. We can get there, uh, we can get there anyway. We'll yeah, get... that's guaranteed, pretty much. The journey At is level more 14. Fun. Mine's a bit crazy, so I was like, oh, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I, I get Circle of Wildlife, level 14, Blazing Revival. Mm -hmm. The bond with mm -hmm. my wildlife spirit can save you from death. If the spirit is within 120 feet of you, and you are reduced to zero hit points and thereby fall unconscious. You can cause the spirit to drop to zero hit points, and you then regain half your hit points and immediately rise to your feet. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. And it's once every long rest. So, <laughs> like, obviously, whatever people go for, I'm happy to go for. Well, and I'm, we'll I'm not against, I'm not against get... being being convinced if you really want. Yeah, sell us on it. <laughs> I mean, we we could just get to do really cool stuff if we do get to fifteen. We can do it anyway, though. That's a never. But then again, we do. We are dealing with a fucking hellfire, hellhole sort of thing. So exactly I can kind of understand why people would want to move to fire. <laughs> fire was on the list, right? Yep. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, you don't need to take what other people pick. Oof. You can pick whatever one you want out of the immunity list. No, that that would be my real choice if we do go for immunity. I'm like, oh, no, what a choice. <laughs> Scott? Yeah? What do you think? 
Um, I'm quickly just having a look through Paladin's stuff <laughs> now. Um, just to see if there's any kind of anything that's really jumping out that will be like, oh crap, we could totally use that. Oh, right what now. what level? Um, sorcerers get teleport. Uh, so we'd have it. We'd have... We'd have eighth level magic. The only problem would be that you're still sons, your sorcerer, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, we need you for this, so, um... It's like, so we've chose cool. for you, yeah. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, so use you our choosing... Us around. Yeah, and yeah. use our choosing for Isla. Remember this when you are a... Uh, and to that point, her thing, it, her entire shtick is lightning, and I feel like immunity to lightning would suit her very well. I feel, I feel like... You know what? She probably already has it, though. There's no way she has it. You know what? We've already had a free level. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Yeah. What about yourself, Arya? What you thinking? I mean, it kind of looks like everybody wants immunity, so. No, but what do you want? I can't be the one level fifteen. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, sadly, that's why it's an all or nothing. There was no level disparity here. I was definitely not offering. Uh, yeah. but... I know. Mm -hmm. but can, I know. Can, I you, know. can you convince us? We're not going to be like, no, this is what we're doing, and you no. have to like it. Because yeah. mm -hmm. they're both good options, right? That was the point of making them you they know, are, options. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Would we have 15 for this session? No, that's too much admin. Okay, so it's not as even like we can help us with Omen right now, immediately, so. Uh, what is that? Mm. That's because I just don't want to sit with dead air for like 40 minutes while you level up. Yeah. Because it will take that long <laughs> to look at spells. Let's face it. But look at all the spells. Because, yeah. There are a lot of oh, good spells at like, those levels. Like four levels of spells. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for those who get It's kind of ridiculous. So... I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Stop rubbing it in. Uh, rub nothing in. Nope. No way, no way. Fire in. <laughs> we could just walk down to the abyss to now and just kick it in the teeth. Immune... Oh, no, it's not resistant. Yeah. Unity. Oof. Yeah. That's why it's like you, you can't <laughs> not. I mean, we could technically. Yeah, that, I we know. Could, we could go in the presence of the red, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. We could but dive into all, the lava and go meet too. Yeah, we could just like. We can bathe in lava. Up. We could jump into the heart of the mountain and go and actually talk to it ourselves. You'd probably still suffocate. Just saying. Why do you have to ruin my fun, right? Just making sure your character doesn't get <laughs> hey. killed for your own, and you know. Oh no, I've got. I don't have walk, water breathing. I've got water walk. Mm. I was like, oh no, we could totally breathe now. <laughs> <laughs> Although lava breathing would be a really cool power, actually. Why isn't that a power? How amazing that would be! Yeah, the crap if it was the only thing you got for lava, and not like lava immunity I mean, as well. I mean, I could, <laughs> I could make us walk on lava. That would be fun. Mm. Fire Jesus! <laughs> yeah. Hey, we've basically got Fire Jesus with us. It's the wild fire druid we have, right? Um, lots of resurrections and uh, fire magic. Yep, Fire Jesus. Mm. <laughs> I could choose immunity to cold, and then the white wouldn't fuck me up. Mm. Yeah, there's loads of choices, right? So, Adrid, you want to type in your vote? I mean, it's going to have to be immunity by this point. Yeah, we know. Mm. So, I don't think Isla will be particularly disappointed by this choice, I'll be honest. I don't think she'd have been disappointed with either choice. <laughs> um, other than just the admin of going, oh my god, what do I take? Um, <laughs> when you're levelling up. And now, you just have the joy of going, what, what, what do I pick? So, what are you taking? Go to pick right now. Yeah, but, more dramatic that way. Oh no! 
No brainer. Fire. I figured I knew your option. Yeah. Yeah, the fire as well. <laughs> it's a bit odd that I don't already have it, considering how many mm -hmm. spells I have that are fire. Oh yeah, you can just like now you can just set things on fire, and we can just walk through it. It'll be fine. Fireballing just the ground, just oh, just yeah. crazy walk things like that. Through the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean that's uh, Basel, just, just just your vote, yeah. Uh -huh. Typing it in for me, bud. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Joining me. Yep. Perfect. So I feel like uh, Isla's going to be the old one out if she just decides to go for, um, you know, lightning or thunder. I doubt she, I'll be honest, I doubt she will because I'm pretty sure she'll get resistance to lightning from her abilities, right? I get resistance to fire. I mm. still want immunity. I know you do because you've actually had a goal around that um, in the past. <laughs> Whereas for mm -hmm. Isla, I feel like she would diversify, right? Based on what I've seen her do thus far. Yeah. I think that would be a good idea. You sure you're selling fire? Or are you you definitely taking fire? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Right, well uh he's adding it to your shoots. Okay. Where do we add it? <laughs> Uh, well, just be Sorry. on your features, right? Obstacles, features, but yep. fire, immunity, done. Yep, yep, yep. Just add that on there. So, obviously, your red text, or if you're colorblind, just the features and traits section. Immunity. Source. Other. <laughs> Source. One hundred. Yeah, session. I was like, can we, can we like put it in? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you can type it in a link next to it. Um, and a source type, you can put it. I'm blind, seven. guys. Sorry, I do not see it. So you're, you need to create Where is it. features? So and see, your, see where all your, of your... Your red, your red text. Yeah, the red text um, box list. column, yeah. A list of uh, traits. Ah, that's how I that put makes it. Makes sense. Yes. <laughs> that's a fair <laughs> statement. Yeah. Session one hundred fire immunity gift for you for spending four hundred hours in this madness. Yeah. Mhm. Mm that's that's valid and terrifying. Yep. Pseudo coherent nonsense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fine, fine. I thought I was doing something cool there. Well, I didn't hear what you said. Um, hey! <laughs> like it. Managing their best tail. Uh huh. I'm all done. Excellent. Pasting yours in. Showing with a class. Oh, yeah. As when, uh, if Isla doesn't actually play catch up at all, um, and she just joins next time, you can just pretend you did something super super cool to get all this. Uh, mm -hmm. She missed the boat, obviously. Oh my uh, god! Like we f we fought the red and mm -hmm. we won and mm -hmm. got this fire immunity from it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. See, so Bastille, don't say you don't get a BSE for uh, you know so many hours of work. Yeah. Um, your big stick energy. Oh, right. Dear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. And Adri, you want to paste yours in? How you added it in? One second. No worries. <laughs> One second, I'm coming up with something funny. I also just like to uh, crumble yeah, other, back. just Ryan. <laughs> 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 Fair. The fairest fair assumption of where the. Never assume me. 
Uh, yeah, I thought it was a reasonable choice, right? I couldn't, as I said, I had to give something for the 100th session, and I generally couldn't think of anything like um, extracurricular, sadly. Um, so I figured I would go for. <laughs> well done. Yep. Well done. Couldn't help myself, sorry. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. LSD. LPS. It's the fire standard certification. The fire resistance certification. Yep. <laughs> I just I just remembered because I've been looking for like mattresses and stuff with Ian because he's moving in his fun one and I just remembered that they all had like different names and mm -hmm. some are more fire retardant than others and I was like uh, This is like the most nerdiest joke and I love it. I love it so much and I hate that I got it so quickly. It's like yep, mm hmm Well done. Well done. Think more. It's so good. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Amazing. Oh dear. You could change your character if you, like um oh I can't paste it into Roll Twenty sadly. But maybe I can. I'll just paste this into Discord for ease, but you could change your character picture to that if you wanted. <laughs> your certification all sorted. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's so good. Uh right, okay. So um no, that's done. You just need to remind Isla next time. Unless you just want to tease her first and then we'll see how that goes. But beyond that... No, uh, she wasn't here. No yeah. immunity. <laughs> you get <Yeah>. nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. Um, so, what did you remember from last time? Ugh. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, God, we played last time? What? I just remember fire immunity. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were just like, what do we do? We've got no eye. Do we go to try and find Magna? Do we go to the hellhole in the desert? What, like, we weren't sure what to do. I think, uh, was it Crumbar talked to Zedreka and she was like, I'm off to the breach. Mm -hmm. See you yeah, later. Um, You're I'm in charge. Yeah, I was asking her if um, she knew a way to get in touch with the worm, and she was saying it's like, well, if he's anywhere, he's going to be at the breach. So, yeah, yeah like, and then he was uh, like, "Smell you later." Mm -hmm. I was actually really yeah, impressed by your Zedrek yeah. impression. There, it was really good. Right. <laughs> smell you later. Yeah. Smell yeah. you later. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we'd, should we go talk to Cyril, see if she can get us to Omen, those kinds of things. Blah, blah, blah look at this Rod of Par. Oh yeah, we looked at the Rod of Par. Mm -hmm. We all, all had a look. Um, and Isla found that it's pure magic. Mm -hmm. Just, it's, it's no kind of magic, it's just... It's an obtainium! It's <laughs> magic. Yeah. Oh God, unobtaining. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cringe. Oh. Writing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Medichlorians. Like what? This. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Jet. <laughs> um. Isla kind of popped over to see Cyril mm -hmm. by yep. like holding the rod. I'm just like. Sorrow and then she's Sorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I was here to explain what happened next. This is like her bit. Mm -hmm. And I have less notes for it. As it's well. okay. So, yeah, like you've got to watch Isla be like portaled across the world by Sorrow. Or maybe bolted across is maybe a better word. Um, good old Sorrow. And Isla said, so we got this, help, we lost, and then Sir went, okay, let's go see if this is what it does. <laughs> Took Isla to the desert wastes where Cyril had moved. The, yeah, and um, completely fucking slap-banged the portal shot. 
Yeah, just maybe with more effort than that sounded. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, it knocked her for six, but you know. Oh, she did say, it, did she say it nearly killed her. So yeah, nearly killed her. Um, She's being a bit over dramatic. Wow, you want to say it to her face? <laughs> I mean, it's Scott just exaggerating, you know, oh. she's just milking it a bit, you know. Mm -hmm. just it's, some it's like, come on, ha ha have some paracetamol and get back on it. <laughs> wow. Yep. Kids, why are you here, first of all? And second of all, don't listen to his advice. Um, but yeah, so we had that. She went off, desert, lots of demony things, feral looking demons swarming around, hundreds of them. Um, Cyril did close the. Uh, yep, she definitely did close the, the hell hole, using the rod that seemed to turn into a staff as a big massive lightning conductor. Um, and then Cyril portaled them back, uh, her and Isla, back to the office as she nearly collapsed. Basically told Isla, well this might kill you, good luck, build the artifact probably, it's probably for the best. Seems to do what it does, yep, bye. Oh, so do you need me to get you home or can you get your own ride? And Isla was like, oh I'll get my own ride. And then as she was leaving the office, she goes, do you actually have the keys to your own ride or do you still need me? And she's like, okay, I actually think I still need you. Okay, okay, I'll get you, I'll get you a driver. And we're introduced to... Who? Who remembers? Moreno! Moreno! <laughs> See, he's a fan favourite already. Vishal. <laughs> Vishal. Yeah, yeah, like, fuck knows why I thought he's just some random guy that just showed up out of the blue. <laughs> I mean... Unintended. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, out of the blue would have been a good session title. So, yeah. Bye. So, and Moreno took Isla back to the Golden Citadel, and then he was met with some uh, orcish hospitality and some genuine right. Furbolg hospitality. Yep. Oh, I was being very sweet. Yeah, sincere yeah. was the word I was not going to use. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah. So yeah, that's where we are. So goals. Scott, goals. what are the goals? The goals, my friend, are get a new Iogenus, arrive <laughs> safely on Omen, learn the artifact's name and use, locate the GGW, acquire Black Fang Spear. Uh, what's, your go goal what's your personal goal? Uh, get GGW to upgrade weapon. That's fine for me. Arya, what's your personal goal? I think you were going to have a think so this week. I. But I, I just don't know. I think we don't quite know which direction we're going to about certain things. So I think Arya would would be confused, and maybe she thinks that whatever was done to the eye is why it just shattered into a million pieces. So she might still be curious about that. Um, I think now she's she she'd like to figure out this new guy, mm -hmm. see if uh, he can be trusted in any way, because you know usually whenever somebody joins the group. They have the Celeste send me mm. tagline, uh, and I or their arse. Them, but she yeah. doesn't quite know if, uh, yeah, no, she didn't quite trust arse either. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, so I think she'll be wanting to figure this Morel guy out, but I, I've I'm not exactly sure how to put that. You it's know. okay, if you read Serene's goal, um, that's exactly how to put it. Oh, mm -hmm. great. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Serene, do you want to tell us Never your goal, mind. just for that? That's, that's, that's my goal. Um, it's, yeah, find out Moreno's motives regarding the party to see if he is trustworthy. Yeah. I think that's kind of what you were saying, are you? I think that was the gist of it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll need a no, new one for you. We already know he's a, a dragon, and by the color, we think it's a white one. So it's quite obvious who sent him. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna have a more of a thing, but it's not just Arya that's confused. It's also Adrian, because obviously <laughs> there's big things going on. Yeah, and... a lot of big things are happening. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming, but we're we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I did have a think about it, and I'm still I've still got nothing. That's okay. No, it's fine. Yeah, no problem. 
And Bastiel. On the heart of the mountains, name. Yeah. <laughs> no uh, I chose to go with that because um, alternatively, I did want to work on the Black Fang Spear, but I don't think there is any shelf in any city that would just have any information on that. But this is something that's somewhat more likely. Yeah. So. I mean, I can just go talk to it. <laughs> I can just go talk to it. I love how you start loving this and you like about it's just what's the phrase rock down to uh, electric oven? No, wait no. Fire right. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Too many puns. So yep, yep, yep. Uh, Isla's goal uh, probably won't be worked on this week, but it was uncovering information about Tiefland's link to the Abyssal Breach. So that was our goals. Okay, okay. So um I believe we ended the session. In the Golden Citadel Yay. with the gang. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's us. And Isla is going to be narratively excused from this, but let's just imagine <laughs> she spent time telling you everything that happened with her and Cyril. Although I think she would have omitted the bits where Cyril got really, really weak. I feel like she would have admitted, like, omitted that. Yeah, she wouldn't admit how, how weak she got. She might have said, like, yeah. oh, used a bit of energy. Yeah, she'd probably say, like, it was definitely a lot of taxing and it might have killed her if she had tried it. Um, I don't think she'd have led into, this really fucked up, so rule. She probably wouldn't say that, but she would definitely say yeah. it seemed like it would have it killed a, her. Yeah. yeah, like, it's a good thing that we didn't try to do it, because mm -hmm. we would have died. But she would definitely have mentioned that Cyril closed that hellhole and that the the rod turned into a staff as well, with enough power pushed through it, it seems. Um, Did she... she have mentioned that this Arino guy was, you know, here to help her or by Cyril? She doesn't know that. I was going to say, Isla technically doesn't know any of that. Don't remember the scene where Cyril and Isla parted ways with an understanding of what wasn't being said, which was, Cyril doesn't have the power to get you home right now, but please don't ask her to. But she'll offer yeah. it, regardless, yeah. for sa the sake of saving face. And then Moreno turned up, knew Isla's name, and took her where she wanted to go. So Isla has made a bit of a leap, reasonable leap, I am of assumption. And obviously ended up at the Citadel. With a very excitable Moreno who has never seen the Citadel before. Um, so yeah. That's all you can really glean from Moreno and Isla's relationship. Is he didn't want the pastries, he wanted something fresher. And mm. uh, yeah, he brought her here. And generally has been he a delight. He really likes himself. Yeah, he loves himself, doesn't he? Um, so yeah, that's all you've really got to glean on. But as of the I mean, images, why he? I know, right? As I said, from those images above, as you have seen, um, quite a bit above now, um, you can probably understand why he loves himself a bit. Like, well. Yeah. So my favorite one's probably still this one. I'll just put one. Yeah, that'll do. I should link you up to it. So I might just repost that entirely. Actually, that's maybe a better right. idea. He's very fancy. Yeah. So yeah, that's our scene. So you are in there, cool. in that room. As I okay. said, Isla will keep herself busy doing something. I don't know what it is, but she's probably very tired. So. I will start by, you know, obviously being a bit less hostile and... Uh, Turning to Moreno and just being like, hmm. Sorry for the uh, hostile uh, welcome. You can imagine why I'd be so jumpy with dragons, a dragon showing up at this. But... He blinks at you and tilts his head, as like his hair falls over his shoulders. There's a dragon in the citadel. You'll have to show me. And he grins with his sharp teeth. Can I roll insight to see if he's... Yeah. 
this. Arya's looking around for a mirror. I like that session 100, uh, the first roll in the game is to roll if somebody's taken the piss, and I feel that's valid for the first roll of the 100th <laughs> session. <laughs> Uh, Get a hundred! Uh, no, damn it. Base <laughs> one, eh? Not bad, though. It's one of my favorite numbers. Um, yeah, uh, he definitely seems to be teasing you. I'll just be like that. It's like... I'll just kind of laugh it off and just be like, <laughs> alright then. And I'll be like, I'm going to extend my hand and be like, Combardenovic. And he He's looks at your good. hand and looks at you and he smiles and he goes, and here's me thinking we'd already exchanged our names. And he laughs. I, and he says, he takes your hand, shakes it, he has a very, very cold touch. And he is a, grips your hand very tightly I, and shakes it once. I, doesn't let it go though, and just kind of looks around the room again and goes, where do you keep the dragon though? If all the rooms are this small, wouldn't they be cramped? And looks back at you. There is many open spaces in the Citadel. I can't just let go of your hand. He says, Shall we go to one of them? This room has a bit of a, an odour to it. Of use. What room are we in again? The barracks. Yeah. Uh, I'll be like, follow me. And I'll just like kind of gesture to hand me up the rest of the party and I'll head out to the, uh, you know, the courtyard where the red mm -hmm. dragons came? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am familiar with it, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I recall that place. So yeah, yeah, it's a big courtyard. Yep. Yep. No, I keep, and I keep a very up. close eye on him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How's this to your liking? Better? Kind of like looks up, and I don't know, let's just assume it's sunny. I am. Um, looks up, his hair is like glittering in the, uh, the sunlight. Kind of just puts like hand up to shield his eyes, and he goes, hmm, a little bright. He kind of like blinks a couple of times and you can see like his red iris is like kind of like focusing and his pupils narrowing a lot. Um, and then uh, I'll just say it's like, well, it's called the Golden City there after all. <laughs> yes, I didn't quite think it would be so literal. He looks around like with a, a slightly distasteful look as if. Mm. It's like. Gold is so last said, uh, last day. <laughs> yeah, it's it's exactly that type of look of this is a bit It's gauche. a little garish. Yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> is this where you keep the dragon? There's, there's no need to be coy, Moreno. Like, I know what you are. Yes. And what am I? Well, you're a dragon. Well, obviously I'm a dragon, but where do you keep your dragon? He looks around again. There is only one dragon here, currently. Oh! His shoulders slump a little. He turns to the group and goes, So I am... I am the dragon. And he nods, kind of like with a big smile. Slow clap. <laughs> goes, no, I'm dragon. I'm Spartacus. <laughs> I'm Spartacus. Yeah. He looks at you all. That's goes, mine, and so is my wife. He goes, that's quite disappointing. I hear me thinking I would get to meet another of my distant kin. Hang about long enough, you mate. Okay, I just like. You no, know, he acknowledges that statement with just like a look, but he doesn't do much, right? He just kind of looks around and then, you know, as if trying to take in the place. Goes, so, what now? And he just... Oh, this, he was all seemed so energetic in the smaller room. Well, we have plans. Um, it doesn't mean that 
you're coming along, though. And here's me thinking I was part of the team. He looks at Bastiel and smiles. I'd nod at him. Hmm. Mariah just points I'm at Bastiel look and looks at you. <laughs> I look at Bastiel like, what the fuck are you talking about? I won't like this random person. You know, I'd like about. Um, mildly throw my hands in the air like uh, we don't have a choice. There's no decision to be made. Moreno's on the team if Moreno wishes to be on the team. He just grins quite eagerly. I've never been on a team before. This is quite new. No team. And uh, you seem interested in finding your kin again. Why aren't you in Axis? Yeah, tell us this. Uh, I've never been to Axis. Why would I be there? I hear it's a bastion for dragons. Yes, some. Some? Are they enemies? Also, let me just move you guys to the map. It's still a bit busy, this map, just so you know. But this is where you are, mm. location-wise. Because I know some of you haven't seen it. Um, let me see if I can get that to... Just none of the students are Dondra Bella or... They're not students. They just look like the students that, from the other game because they're commoner tokens. Um, but yeah, just a big... Uh, big courtyard area. And uh, many thanks to the Patreon people at uh, Principal RPG. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. I've been here before. Yeah, yeah. That's what the aftermath is, you guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don Trabella. Like there you are. Don Trabella. And <laughs> Kitty. Who decided she wants to get married instead of hanging out with us. I know, imagine. Imagine. Big is. Yep, yep, yep. Why like, would she? Eh, yeah, reasons. <laughs> the adventure of a lifetime and she's like, no, I want to get married. <laughs> like, that was the best Don Trabella voice I've ever heard. Oh dear. So good. You really Anyway, back in the scene. I'll just kind of ask Moreno, is it so are you a, are you a friend of Cyril's then? He kinda of grins says, An acquaintance would be about as accurate. Okay. Mm. It's just offering to help her her employee. To, to ah, here. yes. Just... The horned one points vaguely at Isla. Her, her name is Isla. The name. He smiles and he goes, of course. Isla. Not even a hard one. And he looks at you so, and he says, yeah, he's... still getting used to this form. And he kind of gives you like a, not a dirty look at Arya, but definitely like an intense look when he says that. Um, yeah, Arya's like, meh. Like, mm -hmm. you would have had names everywhere. It's not even a hard name. Horned one. Okay. Oh, Sorry, what you I was going to say, yeah, you say to Omen, um, Serene, you were in the middle of saying something, I think, to him as well. I was just going to say, that, well, you, you seem to offer yourself up so willingly. You just, <laughs> Did I do know? Do you not have anything better to do? He laughs and he says, I look willing, do I? Well, you must have dropped something very important to, to ferry Isla back to us. Are you kind of like, he thinks to himself for a little bit, um, for like a split second or two, and then just like smiles to more more to himself, and then he just says, "I am here at the request of another. The help I mm. have offered was not without effort, mm. but here I may am." Ask who? It does you may ask? It does not mean I will answer. Mm. Will you answer? He laughs again. Okay. He goes, I see that you are the speaker of this troop. 
Well, for now, I'm just, I'm just curious. You're very, you're very interesting. He smiles and he goes, yes. Very skilled you are. Thank you. He kind of walks over and he like, he puts like a, you know, when somebody like kind of almost gently pinches underneath someone's chin. He does that to you and just kind of looks at you a bit intensely and then just like mm -hmm. walks off a bit to kind of like gauge the uh, the courtyard a bit more. But clearly it's just to kind of like stop the conversation with you, almost like putting a full stop on you know, the, the okay. grip of the chin. And he walks off a bit and he says... I've been watching him very intently. Yeah, he looks like a tourist the way he's acting. Just, like just a really stuck up tourist. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and he, he turns around after like a minute or two, taking them like the fairly quiet, obviously abandoned ish citadel. Um, he says, It is quite empty. Is it normally this empty, or is it because of all the business south? You're referring to the best, yes. All the order is there. Not all of them. Most Majority. of them. I have been tasked with finding his allies that will help us. And look who you found! And he puts his hands out wide and smiles at you. Well, if you are here to be an ally... Oh, I meant you all. Perhaps, perhaps you will help us. Just gonna ignore yeah. <laughs> that last bit. Yeah, but yeah, he's definitely uh, probably not heard perhaps, what you said either. Yeah. <laughs> perhaps you'll uh, help us um, get back to High Rock. We we have need of travelling to Omen. Oh yes, the other city that Isla. He looks at Arya and he says that was in mm. initially. I see. Yeah. Smiles at him. And. Uh, he points like up to one of the kind of a uh, you know walls that are clearly like you know leads into other buildings. Says, Doesn't your fancy room with all the broken rocks take you there? Not to omen. And he looks at you and goes, "We're not speaking of omen, orc. We are speaking of high rock." His name is Crumbar. Yes, he said it twice. You seem to have a, you seem to have <laughs> trouble with names. He looks at you and he says, I'm not the one that seems distressed by this. I would say, if anything, you're the one that has the trouble with the names. I have just chosen not to use them. And he smiles at you. But, <laughs> you know, like uh, that stand up comedy, like that old thing they did with the big hook, but they like pulled people off stage. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not doing that with his axe to each of the party's arms. Like, let's go to the teleporter room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I just wanted to see like whether he would like. Yeah, like bait or bait him a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fine. If if you can't handle it, we'll just use the the teleporter room. He laughs, just kind of out loud at that. And he goes, "I wouldn't dare try and handle you," and then just like walks back towards that area, uh, quite swiftly. He's a relatively tall boy. Is he taller than me? I uh, probably not. How tall no. is he compared to me? He is probably about um. 6'11", so he's not as tall okay. as you. Okay, so he's, but he's not far off. No, he's no, he's not. But he is, he's like 6'11", or something, or maybe 6'10". Um, but yeah. yeah. He definitely is tall. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going back to High Rock? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Back to High Rock. Yep, so he's head up to the big teleporty circle room. And then... Um, yeah, so... Oh, oh, oh. It, Right, would well, you want to dial it then, Crumbar? Yeah. Can I get him an arcana roll? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, wrong sheet. <laughs> That's a worry. Da, 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 da. Uh, where are we? Give me something good. Hey! Hey, nice. Oh my. Yeah, this goes incredibly smoothly. Yeah, he's in high rock. <sighs> Look at that. Yes. Well, bam. <laughs> 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 
Miles O'Brien walks out of the stonework, transports you all into the transporter buffer, beams you over to High Rock, sorted. Goes back into the stone. Easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, you end up in a, for some of you, a familiar place, right? Because some of you have been into the Golden Order Hall of High Rock before. Some haven't. Like maybe, Serene, you've not been here, right? No, I haven't been in the Order Hall. Yeah. Um, died here. Yeah, you've been here, you died here, yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, the oh. old gravestone. <laughs> um. Good times. It was like Terraria. Gravestone. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Probably, I think oh, we're all, are we like worried about Isla right now? How are we feeling at the moment? I don't, how long has it really been like since she left? Yeah, Isla's with you, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember she, she came, came back. back with Moreno. Remember? That, that's how she got back, was Moreno. Yeah, so yeah. she's she's with you. She's just very quiet because Hannah isn't here. Yeah. Oh, she was here with yeah. us. Okay. Okay. Okay then. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Good. Right. So you don't need to be worried about Isla at all. And unless, that, in general, you want to just be worried about her, which is also valid. <laughs> she also told us. Um, did she tell us that Cyril is basically like exhausted right now? We can't. No, no. We very specifically oh. clarified that. Yeah. I feel like you just didn't listen to the start of the session. I think you've just been staring at fire immunity. With just, you know, fire-coated eyes now. Not um, untrue. Yeah. <laughs> so, as we said earlier, for Shan's benefit, again, Shan, <sighs> we had Isla tell you about everything that happened except the part where it would have wore down Cyril. She would have highlighted the part where it would have killed any of you guys if you had tried to do it. Right? So, okay. highlight the danger without saying what it did to Cerule, because both Cerule and Isla wouldn't share that info. Okay then, so yeah. I'm gonna just be using my axe like a walking stick like Gandalf and start marching along to, to head to Cerule's. And also you've got the... Cerule did say to Isla, and I feel like Isla would pass it on, that a... When she passed her the rod back, she said, this will take from you. Give it nothing. So I feel like Isla yeah. might have shared that, you know, all made a statement with you as well. But yeah. But everything okay. else is pretty much for a game other than the Cyril being a weak part. Yeah. Uh, I won't lean into that then. No worries. Off to see her. Okay, so um, what is the plan as everything materialises in the transport circle? Um, well, I believe the plan was to go speak to Cyril about getting transport to High uh, to Omen. Yeah. Right. That's mm -hmm. not the plan, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I um, feel. Isla will have reminded you guys, and by Isla I mean me, that Cyril said that would take time to do. That she would do it as uh -huh. quickly as she could. So there's mm -hmm. actually zero need to go speak to her. Oh, she's already kind of started looking into it. Yeah. 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 Well, like I feel like that was that was last week when I said like she said she would get on that obviously and remember she asked her like why he's going to why do you think your answers are an omen? And Isla was like, Well, you know, we're hoping for the best. And that's when Cyril then said, If you fail, I'll need to get my brother involved. Where would we wait? Would we wait in her office or like at the shipyard? What would be the normal thing to do? I don't know. What do you want to do in High Rock? Well, use kill time for that to happen. You've probably yeah, got a bit of time. Could get some pancakes. Yeah, you could get some pancakes, yeah, from the yeah. Uh, unarmed piano. Hmm. What else can we do? What else do we need to do? If you don't need okay. to do anything, we can just skip however long it takes. But it's just to give you time to do stuff in the narrative if you oh, want to do one thing, actually. Do assistance with anything. I do, I do it's just... Great quest. Oh, Scott. <laughs> Kelly, cool. I need to do... Well, I need to sell my leather armour because I now have... Someone gave me half plate. So I need to get rid of Ooh. the leather armour I had. Oh, yeah. I just need to sell it. 
you know what's bad is I was about to honestly go like, wait, who gave you half plate? I'm like, oh, wait. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I literally just need to sell up that. It's very basic. Go see Fletic. Admin. He does jewellery. He doesn't want a fucking set of leather armour. He <laughs> might. He doesn't. I can tell you that, though. Yeah. Okay, um, let's do... I, you can just sell it for half his value, by the way. It's, you can just okay. straight up do that. And if you, It's only if you wanted to try and get more money for it would it involve a scene. And there. Uh, CBA. Okay, no worries. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's... What's it worth? Whether it's a, 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 a glance, I want to say 50 gold is it worth, but it might not be. Okay, I actually don't. Let me, check. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, 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 mm. It's. Oh, no, that just says what it weighs. <laughs> it's not helpful. I went the wrong direction in the book from it. So, where are we here? I'm at weapons, I'm almost to armor. Armor, leather, armor, leather, leather, leather. It's ten gold, so you can get five. Oh, is it studded yeah, leather or is it leather? Is it normal leather just, or studded? Just, just leather. Leather. Yeah. Okay, so I uh, five gold you'll get, my dear. Oh sweet. Not bad. Not bad. Now I can delete it. Yeah. It weighs ten pounds. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Well done. That's that's literally what I need. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, to make yourself a wee bit of money. Just, just a little bit of admin there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's why I like like see the the whole selling rules thing. Like I just prefer doing that. It's just whatever half it's done. Move on with your lives. And if people want to try and like upsell, they can roll. I guess a much simpler system than I don't know whatever the actual rules are. So yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't need to role play so yeah. it. So <laughs> some people need that in their lives, and that fair play to them, you know. Um, so yeah, I think uh, Moreno is obviously just like you know, looking around, taking in everything, not saying too much other than just like drawing attention because he is like, you know, taller than a lot of people and obviously with mm -hmm. you guys who draw a lot of attention. Um, but he's specifically staring back at people and smiling with his sharp teeth and it's probably making sure that people are uncomfortable without his intention necessarily. Just clearly not a, a social care. Yeah. Uh huh. I suppose just mm. like as we're walking along, I'd maybe just ask. So, are are you from here, Moreno? And he says, "No, north, much further north. I've never been to a city before." Really? This was the first city that I ever went to as well. Wonderful. And he smiles and says, "We have so much in common. It seems." It does, isn't that funny? He laughs. Yes. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm I'm from well, slight, slightly north of here, I suppose, from um, off 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 to the west. Mm -hmm, yeah. West of here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, almost directly west as well. Yeah, near near our um. Near where the where the dwarfs reside. Near um near Forge and Anvil. Have you have you been to Forge before? No. A city, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yes. I just wondered if this, you know, if you'd been to if this was your first city and then maybe you've been to, to Forge as well. Forge was my second oh no, Forge my Forge was my third. Third city I've been to. It's been it's been a busy week. As, so it seems. I that it's only been like a week. I think it is probably closer to like maybe like ten or maybe like uh, fourteen days realistically if we look at the amount of time skipped. But yeah, it's not yeah, long. It's maybe. not. It has not been long. Not at all. Not for how much has happened in that time. Quite frankly, so much has happened in that period of time. But like. <laughs> I don't actually know what the timeline is for the game. Though. Like, I don't actually think we're that far into the game. We're definitely like we're nowhere, oh. We're not even anywhere near a year. <laughs> so maybe you've only been together for yeah, like a few weeks or something, like a month or two. And yeah, like, like legit. Like, oh, this, it might even be less than six months. Like, yeah, 
ridiculous to think how much has happened in the game. So, yeah. But besides that, yeah. Just, yeah, I'm smiles yeah, at goes, just... Forge is not someone I have been curious of. Very cramped mountain. Yes, I don't, I don't know. Oh, sorry, go. Sounds like you don't seem to like cramped spaces too much. Do you? I like. Uh, that yeah, depends. And he taps on, like, um, you know, the new metal that our furball's wearing. And he taps on the shoulder and looks at you and points to your kind of, you know, bare chest and says, You are not so. Adorned. I figured you're a fan of the freedom. Well. Ah. Uh, I used to wear plate mail. Not required anymore. Then you can understand my position. <laughs> I'm just kind of smiling. So like, yeah, understandable. I was like, even if I don't, it'll be fine. I do, for this conversation to end. Leave me alone, Moreno. I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> yep. Serene just kind of rambles on to herself, like, I don't know how Kandir does it. Okay. Staying yeah. in that, in that cramp, well, I suppose it's not too cramped, but that, that throne room all the time. So deep underground. You seem to have a lot of thoughts about the white. Mm -hmm. Well, we are connected in a way. Oh, really? And she, she's a, she's a friend of ours. I think, like, if you were walking with someone, like, for example, if you're walking next to Bastiel or Isla, or like, let's say it's Isla because she's not here narratively, it's easier to move her around the, the map. Um, if you're walking side by side, he'll just like push her gently to the side so he can stand and walk next to you. Because mm -hmm. he's now interested that you've mentioned you're connected. And he's just kind of like smiling and kind of nodding as you're speaking to try and encourage you to speak more. And I love be walking right behind and trying to like <laughs> stifle the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, well, yes, we've, we've, we have, we've met her and we've had some wonderful conversations. Um, she's, she's helped us and um, she seems like a a very good soul I think like the, the biggest probably slightly uncomfortable looking grin appears on his face is right and it was Kandir you met Who did you think she met? Well, you've maybe missed the tone there, Scott. But the, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's the, he's being facetious. Yeah, like she said, yeah, she seems like a good soul. It's like and it was Candir you met. Oh right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You can still say that if you want, if Crumbar still would say that though. But it's up to you. But no, I just wanted to make sure you knew the tone we were going oh, for. I just can't pick up on Fucking tones tonight, apparently. <laughs> That's for a musician. Um, now, see, if, if I would have kind of cottoned on that they're, but, but, well, that Serene thinks they're a, a, a white dragon because of the, the cold hand when they shook, they shook hands. Mm -hmm. I think there's enough assumption. You can, you, can, you, can, you can assume yeah. that if you want, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, not sure. That. They can make any leaps of assumption they want, yeah. As long mm -hmm. as it's, um, there's a reason to. And yeah. pale, pale skin, um, well, the albino look that he has to him. And then obviously the cold, the kind of cold vibe, because there's a bit of a chill to the air near him as well. Not much, just yeah. enough to be like, okay, I noticed that. Like, well, well, forgive me if I'm assuming, but you do give off the. The aura of a of a white dragon. Do you it, know? It looks like over his shoulders and like does like a spin on the spot as if like chasing his tail for a second and looks around and goes Oh, you mean generally. 
Yes, generally. <laughs> well, he adjusts like his outfit a little bit. Um, it says, I thought for a second something was showing. It gives you like a cheeky look. Oh no, don't worry about that. You uh, you look perfectly human, apparently. How wonderful. And and Ari is going to say, no, that's that's correct. You you don't stand out at all. <laughs> and he turns and goes, that's kind of the point, I think. He, he, he like almost like ducks down a little to say that, as if he's not really sure. Um, um, he looks and goes, I just don't seem to look like anybody else here. But nor do any of you, so I guess I blend in with you all. And gestures to the party. Yes, you do. Yes, yes I guess by um, standing out, we blend in. He kind of like thinks about that for a second as if, did that make what sense? What a paradox. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. uh, right, so who has any other admin to do in in High Rock? Anything else you just want to get up to before we just skip to whenever? You get word. I wanna at the uh, the docks. Hmm? I wanna find an interesting looking captain, ship captain. Okay, define interesting. Give me two words that make them interesting. Um, wealth. Okay. And old. Wealth and gold. Yeah. Old. Oh, old. Sorry. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> and old, yeah, okay, yeah, let me see if I can. I... Okay, I like this. Um... Right. Okay. I I'm ready for this. Right. Yeah. So you you find the aforementioned um, wealthy-looking old person standing as if they own their ship. Okay. You can probably tell the ship's expensive because it's probably got like you know actually nice quality sails that aren't patched. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so excuse me, and I'll, I'll bang the bottom of the axe on the floor stuff tap thing. And then a. Uh, let me see. I need to. Somebody, in fact, Bastille, roll a d20. Struggling? We're all good? Maybe? Nope, we've lost him. He's gone forever. Yeah. Well. You with us? You still with us, Shan? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I need you to roll a d20. Yeah. I thought somebody but Shan roll a d20. No, I said somebody. No, nope, <laughs> Shan. Me. Nope, you, you, you. You're the one now. You, you do it for me. There we go. Thank you. Yep. So, you approach. I, this wealthy looking woman. Okay. Um, and she looks you up and down, steps forward, like takes her like foot off some kind of like small crate that she was just like clearly posing on. Um like half hand in like the blouse in front of her as well. Um steps forward with big big wide steps. Looks you up and down. She goes It's a lot of armor to be wearing on a day like this. It's pouring rain. Well, you can only imagine what I uh, intend to do with it. Yeah, you should buy a hat. Big brim like mine. And she runs her hand over the edge of her big white yeah, Commodore style hat. Big feathers in it, all, all weather dampened. Um, you can tell the hat, the hat has, has definitely been around for probably twice as long as she has. Um, I'll uh, point at it and I'll say, what manner of creature even produces such a feather? She laughs uh, and kind of coughs as she laughs and she says something well dead and well burnt it was tasty that's for sure <laughs> that's some kind of phoenix she smiles she's like her big silver tooth 
is on display. Um, she puts her hand out. And she goes, Well, you're interesting enough for a handshake. Well, shake my hand. Uh, well, shake her hand. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, I'll shake my own hands, damn it. Thank you. I've never tried that before. Um, yeah, I enjoy Good suggestion. Lady. Yep, yep. Takes anyway. her arm off. <laughs> she goes, Captain Padley. Tupper Padley. Nods at you. As if you're and I, I, but like, it's that not of you've heard of me, right? Oh, right. It's definitely that you know, saying it as if you you you'll know this. I'll just say, Padley, uh, Tupper Padley. Okay, I'll say I'm honoured, and I'll look side to side. Like, will anyone tell? Well, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> I mean, that's, she doesn't at least give anything away that that's the case. Um, because, well, as nice as this is. Shop, shop, and down. How can I help you? You looking for passage somewhere? Well, I think that's secured, but I just wanted some sage advice. <laughs> Laughs. Goes, ah, like you know, pulls out like one of our um, you know, kind of like tightly bound grey curls. And it pulls it down past her ear. And she goes, "You seen the grey?" And you thought she's been around. I saw the finery. To raise his an eyebrow. You won't get no discounts here. She gave you a cheeky <laughs> look. Well, this shot. But I, I think we'll. Don't, don't blame me for trying. Um, where we're going. And I, I'll bang my chest twice. Like, that this is what the armor is for. And I'll say, we're headed to Omen. Oh. That's it. Like, there's just like a a gap. I hear it's a hostile place, or at least one where strangers aren't wanted or welcome. Um. She looks around. Is everybody else nearby, or are you just keeping your distance from this conversation that Bastia's having with random captain lady? Just let Bastia wander off. I've got my own plans. Okay. Yeah, I imagine I've definitely. Yeah, that's fine. The, she does like look around and goes, Right. Um, who do you work for? Never seen a get up like yours. I kind of open my arms wide and look up at the sky, slightly turned around. And I say, um, I work for the good of the world. Uh, don't we all? <laughs> and then, you know, she opens her coat a little bit and just rests her hand on her sword. Casually like, though. Yeah. She just looks at uh, me again. With, like, you know, intrigued eyes, but at the same time, please answer my question. Eyes, you know. The governor of High Rock. My taxes and docking fees are paid, thank you very much. And my shipping manifest is my own business. She does that like very like methodically and slowly as if yeah. The dock master's been into my ship already, what are you here for? Mm. Leaning on your axe. <laughs> uh I'm sure it is. And that is your business. That is not that of ours. The uh, omen makes you uncomfortable. Why is this? A couple of things have been making me uncomfortable lately. I feel like, you know, adjusts her footing a little bit. So she's a bit more steady on it. Uh, not, not so much posing anymore, but like ready to step into a fighting pose if she has to with her sword. And she goes, yeah. I don't sail near Omen. That's all she kind of says, kind of bluntly. What do you fear? I have no business, Omen. Why would I need to fear it? No business. Hmm. What do you make of Axis? Uh, oh I'm also just going to share this picture because if you can just very um, kindly age this woman up by like maybe. 40, 50 years. Um, oh, I go. Who is that? I recognize. Um, 
I think it was Maureen O'Hara. What's that from? I have no idea what that's from, but that is a yeah. kind of exactly what I'm looking at. But I literally mean aged the same outfit up about forty to fifty years as well. Because she's obviously a fan oh. of it. Yeah. Uh I got like yeah, no. <laughs> um I could wolf whistle, I would. Mm-hmm. At glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at her. I mean, if you piss her off, maybe that's what she'll turn into, yeah. Um, she's she's a bit too 40k oh, glorious, no. though. <laughs> yeah. Big. I like to believe that that's big. actually just her walking on there, up the ramp that used to exist. It's just her sheer presence oh, that wow, destroys that's... the boat. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not far off, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, she looks you up and then goes, I've got no business in Omen, so why would I need to fear it? What do you hear from Omen? Well, yeah, I asked her about access, but okay, we can just like go this way instead, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, like going this way instead. I am. Um, what do I fear? Just because it sounds I've... like, to, like, to her, it sounds like you're kind of projecting, right? Like, cause she's like, I never yeah. said I was scared of Omen, why would you think that? Clearly you're scared of Omen if you're asking me about Omen. That was her thought process, at least. I fear unmatched security. Um, I fear the scrutiny of wizards. I fear powerful magic I can't control, you know. I don't know what to expect. But I need to be there. You're in the wrong kind of line of business then if you fear all that, son, don't you think? She looks you up and down again and she starts like, <laughs> like, she relaxes a tiny bit, not much though, like, but definitely enough to like, you know, be noticeable. And she says, looking out for the world and you've got all that on your shoulders. Mm. You'll have bad knees in five years. Chuckles to herself. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, lucky for some. <laughs> Ari is just kind of like smiling, thinking that, you know, we know where all the oil is, he's not going to get rusty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so Ari, you're with Bastel then, because everybody else is like, I don't know who's where at the moment, but yeah, you can be with him. Bye. Yeah, 100%. Oh. But I, I That's okay. must have missed a second we. No, it's just like Let's... Scott just said he was specifically not there. That was all. Um, I don't know where Serena's. Oh. You hear Serena or are you elsewhere? I don't know. I don't know where Serena um <laughs> probably like on the docks as well, but kind of off a little bit. Yeah. You could head over within to another piano within, if you wanted. Within so. the vicinity. Yeah. Yeah. You could maybe be taking Moreno to get pancakes if you wanted. Sure. It's up to you. you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, literally. Mm -hmm. I can just imagine <laughs> introducing him to pancakes. Kind of like, oh, I just discovered these a few days ago. Mm. Amazing. And yeah. then beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get, and get, then get him drunk. Right? Oh, God. Oh God. oh, God. Yeah. Getting him drunk. What a great, what mm -hmm. a great thing. Um, but, yeah, so. Uh, Tapper yeah, looks you up and down again. Human guys <laughs> destroys oh, the pub by just becoming a massive yep. dragon. Suddenly, again. drunk dragon. That's the new name of the pub. Is it's rebuilt? Um, <laughs> so, uh, rebuilt. Yep. The suddenly drunk. Yep. The suddenly drunk dragon. Yeah, I love it. I guess. Well, I just immortalize. Immortalize even that. The suddenly drunk dragon. <laughs> Formerly <laughs> the unarmed piano. It's an alternate timeline we can all enjoy. So, yeah, Tapper looks you up and down and says, My hat's getting wet. If that's everything, I'll be on my way. Yeah, I raise one hand open. I say, Suppose that'll do. Oh, it depends. She kind of leans in with her shoulder. Is there something I'm needed for? Or is this just a oddly polite first meeting? Um, 
I, I will say um and like I clearly don't know what mm-hmm. I'm a pirate uh, wonderkind. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, safe travels. And to you. And nod slowly as if she's not really sure what's happening. Or has happened. Um, she goes, Well, I don't leave port until tomorrow. So if you want another odd exchange of very little. You know where I am. We could save our lives. Thank you. Shrugs? I suppose I could. <laughs> Yeah, and she lives like relatively friendly, like tone, right? Like definitely just bemused, I guess. Is not yeah, really sure I'm what just, happened. Yeah, my breath. I'll just be like, if it isn't an inconvenience, and yeah, turn around. And then um, a couple of the, the like the crew, like this is in the the cutscene aftermath of that scene. A couple of the crew like come down the, the kind of like plank to get to the actual pier itself and walk up to her and lift the crates that she was standing next to. It's like, who was that boss? She's like, genuinely no idea. Now she walks. <laughs> um, kind of like that last longing look back at you and then just shaking her head, chuckling to herself. That's, uh, I guess that's us for break. So, yeah. Oh. We'll uh, be back after these important messages, which is come back later.
started. There we go. So, welcome back to The Keepers of the Golden Gate Part 2 Forest Session 100. That's crazy. Ooh. Crazy, crazy. Uh, it is August of the year 2021, and it's the sixth day in the aforementioned. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. I'm Adrian, and I play Arya Bluebird, the half of Druid. Yay! Mm -hmm. Um, and I play Bastia, the Old Forge Cleric. Hey! Hi, I'm Scott, and I play Crombar, the Half Orc Paladin, who is a mule fire! Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Callie, and I play Serene, the Furbolg Ranger. Bazinga. I'm your <laughs> <laughs> It was also oh, a mule fire. bragging about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, quite literally, we are now this meme. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. This is this fine. Is <laughs> the, the room that's on fire. Yep. Maybe that's we whatever they should have named the now. abilities. Just the this is fine. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, dear. If only my brain was sharper. Mm. So, and I have the joint of. I may just have a latte on the break there. But because th it had been nice, really warm earlier today before the, the absolute horrendous mm. thunderstorms appeared. Um, all the flies exist in my room now, just all of them. Um, so I now have to play the covering up my latte so they can't go to it. Um, oh. oh, the joys. Like, I wouldn't mind if I knew they'd wanted one, I'd make them their own, you know? But yeah, it's difficult. Because if it meant if I got to drink mine, it's yours, this is mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd happily do that, right? If it means I get to drink mine in peace, fine. Makes two. <laughs> Though I don't really want them high on caffeine, so I suppose that, yeah, aye. Ah, you just know how it is. You just know how it is. <laughs> um, anyway, back in the scene. Um, yep, so I guess Bastiel heads over to, I guess, the unarmed piano to catch up with, um, I guess, Isla, Moreno, and uh, Serene. Um, Aria, I guess you're following, because I think you were with Bastiel, and. Yeah, somehow. That's okay, yeah. Sorry, no, that's good. Realize. I don't think it was anything super secret, unless Bastille was just trying to change campaigns after the big one hundo. Yeah. He was uh, just trying to leave the group, which is uh, sick of us. Yep, yep, yep. Um, going on an adventure! Just push her off the pier, take her hat. I'm your captain now, boys. Yep. <laughs> Ooh la la! Yep. And, uh, <laughs> uh, where, where did Crumbar go, since he seemed to be... Uh, are we off on his own? That's you, Scott. So, what I want to do... <laughs> yes, uh, what do you want to do? I want to go to the edge of the Queenswood. Okay, that's all. That's a, yep, sure okay. Really want. Is that good? Side? Yeah, that's a wee while away, yeah, but sure. So, like, I don't know, can I, like, I rent a horse or transport to get there? Are you telling him that you're going to go for, like, a couple of days trip away? Oh, no. Yeah, well, I'll just be like, I, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll mention to everyone that I, um... Oh, hello, fly, on the fucking camera. Look at that! <laughs> Look, I'm driving famous! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hello. Um, thank Rude. you. Yeah. Literally because I'd mentioned it. See if I hadn't mentioned the fucking latte business? It didn't even have happened. The revenge. Oh, you're famous now. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> Please continue, the Scott. Oh, boy. <laughs> you good? Right. Yeah, Heck, so I no, mention, I'm really not. But carry on anyway. I will just mention that I am heading out for a few days um, and I'll be back before you use everyone leaves. I mean, the thing is, though, you don't know that, right? You don't know when, like, I was going to say how long this boat's going to take, or how long it can stay in port, right? So you technically don't know how long you've got, so you might miss the boat to Omen. Yeah. Uh, basically... Oh, in fact, Marino. No, 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 no. Marino? Uh, Marino. Did Marino. he... Yeah, could he teleport me there? Dunno. Why don't you go ask him? Is it the other uh, piano about to be introduced to pancakes? 
Uh, yeah, I, if if you were going to pubs, I would definitely follow suit. Yeah, maybe you're having this this plan unfold in your brain while you're heading to like you know get something uh, to eat or something. I don't know what you guys do for food these days. Well, what I will do is I will turn to Moreno and be like, Moreno, Moreno, what say? Moreno, you said Moreno, oh, it? and it's Moreno, like the world. Moreno. Um, I was say, it's like, there's somewhere I wouldn't like to visit first before we leave. Um, but it's a few days away, and I don't think I'd make it back in time. I know that you teleported Isla to the Citadel. Is that something you'd be able to do for me? Does this place that you're going to have a teleportation circle that you know the sequence of? Um, no. I wish to go to the edge of the Queen's Way. He smiles and he goes, And where is that from here? Um, is there a map anywhere? Probably not. Um, I mean, I know it's north. Does nobody have a map on their like random stuff list? You know, like your backgrounds give you stuff. I'm gonna have a look. Uh, <laughs> mm. Imagine. I like the idea that everybody just says, "Actually, in, none in of the us." Explorers pack. What's the name? Explorers. Just, I don't think there's a map in that, but I mean, like, see, in your background, mm. it usually gives you, like, a de like a letter from a dead colleague, a letter opener, a bottle of ink, a cuddly toy, you know? Yeah. Surely somebody has a map. Oh, no, I got a trophy from the animal I killed. Nice. Yeah, I had one of them. <laughs> Take these are both outlanders. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm good at directions and stuff. I might, mm. might just be able to go... That way. Hmm. Yeah, could roll survival if you wanted. Go yeah. try. Yeah. If Crumbar asks for my help, isn't mm. isn't said. I mean, yeah. Going. I would definitely imply I need help, <laughs> as I know it is north. Yeah. Um. So yeah, have a have a think about it, Mum. I think maybe. Oh, that wasn't very good. Death West. Is there any chance I could also do that? I mean... Yeah, would, would it have been advantage because... Also, first of all, Scott, you've been there as Crumbar. Like, yeah, but you know mean, it's I know north. It's, I know it's north. Yeah, that that's all thing. what we're trying to get from Serene as well. Who oh, hasn't been there. Cool? Yeah. Have been there. Just been been got in tele there, yeah. Get teleported uh -huh. there. Yep. Yeah. Like, I mean, would I be able to tell them exactly where it is rather than just north? I mean, probably by like how long it took you to get there, yeah. You could probably just give them that amount of time by foot or something. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. okay. So I'll, I'll... But remember when <laughs> you were leaving the Queenswood the last time? You left the edge of the Queenswood and it went south and there was days of travel, and then a castle appeared from the sky. Yeah. And there was still a lot of time and distance that nobody in High Rock seen that. So, yeah. Yeah. So, a good few days, anyway. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll portray to him that uh, it is a few days north, uh, north of here. Then it was a pleasure to meet you. He puts like a hand on your shoulder and just nods affirmatively. And I wish you well on your journey. He smiles. I'll need you to bring me back as well. You wish me to take you? Yes, and would you be able to bring me back when I'm done? It shouldn't be long. Like Marina looks around at like whoever is like paying attention to the conversation from the party. 
And he kind of looks back and goes, mm -hmm. I am not interested in going to the Queen's Wood. I'm looking to speak with the Elf Queen. Precisely why I'm not interested. You wish to be lost for days? Perhaps years? Your kind I'll don't live that long. I'll ask at the edge of the wood. If she gives me an audience, great. If not, I'll turn back. There are questions I have for her before we go to Omen. Once again, and again, I wish you luck. Rumba. I think our new friend is trying to um, say that can't take you there. He, he, he leans in power. to when you're saying that and he smiles and goes, more that I want. He smiles at you. Like at Crumbar, just to like reconfirm. No, she's not wrong. I'm not going to do it. Like. <laughs> uh, anyone got any way for me to get in touch with the Elf Queen? I think like, Moreno just points to your legs. And then your mouth. Oh, yeah, it probably does. That's kind of a thing, isn't it? Like nature stuff and that. I like how casual Bastiel became there. I should wait for you. I mean, were, you, were we there? Did we catch up there? Uh, no, yeah, he's clubbing. He's clubbing in the same location now, yeah. That's going to be the RBC. I mean, you could, you could ask, yeah, you could okay. ask Bastiel. But... Okay, cool. If you just do her back, I, um, I'll, yeah, I'll, we'll have asked you as well. It's like, does, you know, just to the general group, it's like, does anyone have a way for me to contact the Elf Queen? Let me see. But he's got her diamond, remember? Nope, not anymore. No. Not anymore. Oh shit, we used it. Yeah, never mind. Yep. Use it to help the the forest walks. Yes. Also, mm -hmm. the image I got in my head, Bastille, when you acted really casual there, because I know it was just Chan speaking, but this is the image I got of Bastille just you turn around using a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> After drying off from the rain. <laughs> wow. Well, that was. Uh, but I know, I know it was out of character, but that's why. Like, it made me think of that. Just how so casual. <laughs> that cyborg was that? Yeah. A, 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 holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there was a movie. Yeah. Um, there's actually two. There's like a two and a bit hour one, and there's a four hour version of it. Oh my god. The four hour version's actually worth your time, believe it or not. If you enjoyed it, yeah. Somehow good. it was, but anyway. So yeah. Uh, You've got sending still, right? That's a thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Doesn't that do the job? Yeah. But before I, I say to Cromwell that I can do that, we'll see like, if I has anything. Maybe the uh, might be a better way. We got anything? Nature stuff. Talk to people through plants. I don't know. I give you a look. That, that, that. Basically says, um, not in that way. <laughs> mm. Because okay. it's, it's true. Like, Arya can, like, commune with nature and figure out, you know, rivers and springs and baddies and creatures and buildings around her, but, like, not really anything to be, like, actual you know, communication with people in that way. Oh, right. You can just, like, make a tree slap her and but you can't make it talk to her or anything. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'll kind of lean back in my chair and say, uh, I have some kind of rudimentary way to talk to anyone, not her in particular. What do you need to tell her? Tell her, is there a word limit? Uh, depends. Depends what you need to say. Uh, might use something more exotic. Tell her that this is a message from Crumbar. 
that I am heading to, I plan on heading to Omen and I need to speak with her before I, before we leave. Highly important. Hmm. Right. And this highly important thing couldn't be said in 25 words or less, could it? You could just say it. No. I no, it's only truly... one word. Like, like Moreno Linda goes, no, it's only one word. So if it's so short, surely you may make his life easier. He gestures towards Bastille. Uh... Send that message, brother, and we will see what she reply if she gets back to me. Very interesting. You seem to believe she is on a first name basis with you. Huh. You're quite an exciting bunch, aren't you all? I'll just kind of look at it and be like, the Elf Queen has a name? It kind of looks at you. Like, curiously. And he just smiles at you. Then looks back at the group and then just rolls his eyes. Kind of put one finger to my head like I have a scouter on. Mm. Like the Vegeta. <laughs> I look into Aya's eyes and like, kind of like someone who doesn't know that there's like a camera or something mm. around. I look into it. Is that thing a camera? Yeah. I'm looking. <laughs> so I talk to the Elven Queen. Okay, I'll send it. <laughs> okay. And what, what's the message? Yo, Crumbar wants to chat? No, like the words I said. Yeah. I'll type it in chat. That does help. But also, it was, you know, Cranbar wants to chat. Need going to Omen, want to speak first. Yiggity yiggity, or something like that. Yeah. Do, do, do we all know about the Orc King Power thing? Or no. What's the secret? Oh, okay. If, I wish I could just tell her it's about that or something. And that <laughs> might get her attention. Mm. But, okay. Well, I'll say exactly what Cranbar wants me to say. <laughs> It's just when he adds in Bastille is dumb at the end, just because he had spare words. Moment, I need to you for leaving. Please find me. Okay, that's that's a good one. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be that guy here, but she's an immortal being. Gonna give her a time frame. Oh yeah. Just that would be something that maybe occurs to Grumbar, even if it doesn't necessarily immediately uh, like come into as the brain. As I, don't, I don't want to say now because that's quite yeah. demanding. But okay, yeah, yeah, it's about twenty-four words, I think. Okay, it's actually is that, is that not exactly twenty-five? Yeah, that's not bad. Ignoring the no, obviously. Hmm. Yeah, so please find me. Yeah, that would end up badly if Crumbar was like, come here now, Queenie. <laughs> as soon as possible. As <laughs> yep. when, when Crumbar tells me to, to say as soon as possible, I'm looking at, I kind of pause for a second and look at him and I'm thinking that, this, that could mean a millennia to her. Like, like as soon as possible. It'd be like within the day or something. <laughs> yeah. We've got um, yeah. Tom in chat as wishes all a happy 100th. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Good yeah, like he's concerned whatever, like, you know, let's you know, make it swift or whatever. Like whatever the mm -hmm. the, the time button is that you just want to add and I wouldn't really quibble. You get enough words to say something akin to that effect. Um mm. and yeah. So Yeah. You send that off. And there's no reply. Yeah. Yeah. Typical. I will, uh, after sending it off, I will stand up, say to the party, I'll be like, I am going to just go wait outside of High Rock, just to the north. If you need me, that's where I'll be. Moreno smiles at you and puts like a hand on your shoulder and like, stands up. 
as Annie Schroeder says. Do you wish company? I would say no. Why would you? As he smiles. And I'll just be like, that's the case. Before I go, I'm going to walk up to the bar and buy two bottles of, like, silly strong. Silly string, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like silly strong <laughs> alcohol. Okay. And I think what you mean is tankards or, like, a keg. Yeah, but, I'll, like, just, like, whatever spirits are in the. Oh, well, like. I mean, just like a, you know, akin to like a wine or a whiskey or something, something like that. Yeah, like whiskey. Yeah, like something like really green chartreuse or something like that. You know. Ah, so you, you are trying to get the dragon drunk, aren't you? Well, you can spend I don't know, like, a, I don't know, a gold on two bottles um, of a like, gold. and it's essentially a paint thinner. Um, yeah. Is what it smells like. Yeah. But it's definitely like in your, you know, clouded green glass bottles with the, you know, corks in them. No labels, of course. How to get your dragon drunk. <laughs> How to get a dragon drunk, yeah. Not How quite the Pixar dragon. movie you watched, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just add it in as, like, uh... Doesn't matter, it's, you could just add that in as off, yeah. So um, um yeah, you and, and uh, you and Moreno head off to the north end of town unless there's anything else you're uh was that a gold drying, yeah. Yeah, just for the two bottles, yeah. Not each, yeah, just okay. together. Yep. Um No worries. Yeah. Gold spent. And you and Moreno I'll, head I'll, off. Oh, can I uh slight a hand some uh glasses or per but can I just persuade the bartender to give me some glasses to like you know, reminding him of how much time we have spent here and you know, <laughs> I mean, can't expect us just to, you know. You assume, probably have a gift shop. I was gonna say, you assume he recognizes you. That's all yeah. I'm saying. This is a busy That'd port. Be, yeah. yeah, but I'm also a half orc in paladin stuff. Is you're not in paladin stuff. Much time here. I was gonna say you're not in paladin stuff. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh well. Uh huh. Maybe mm -hmm. well, nothing. <laughs> Let me try. Yeah, I mean, you can roll persuasion if you just want to like try and ask him for glasses, but I feel like you could just ask him for like mugs and go away with them. Yeah. <laughs> you inform sure they don't have glasses because they get smashed too easily and it gives you mugs. Yay! Free yeah. mugs. Okay, off I go. And they're definitely expecting them back, but you can just leave with them, right? It's not like yeah. he's going to be tracking you. It's a busy place. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm not going to lie, right? I just wanted to roll a dice. That's fine. I understand. <laughs> yeah, so... But he's going to understand it's going to be you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of dice I don't get to roll, so, yeah. Plus, I get a plus six. Oh, man, I just found a very pretty one that I was given for my birthday. Nice. So, Scott's already heard this mild aside here, right? But the Avatar Kickstarter, it's really tempting. I'm not going to lie. I have no money for it, but it's really tempting still. And uh, the fancy metal set of dice that they've done for it, for an add-on is a hundred dollars, and I'm like, oh, that's so destroying, so destroying. Yeah. I'm like, that's... nobody needs. First of all, nobody needs those dice, but secondly, they're really pretty. Dear gods, what? However, that system is designed off the back of a powered by the apocalypse, which is the engine, um, and that's who made. That's what Dungeon World is based on. So, very mm -hmm. excited at the idea that. Um, you know, the Avatar game is based Likely off... to be decent. Yeah, it sounds like it'll be really good. Because you'll get, like, a playbook. Like, the way you'd play, like, the bard. That would give you the bard moves and stuff in it. This would be, like, you know... Mm -hmm. uh, the technology expert, or the earthbender expert, or whatever it is. It's gonna be, I, I'm quite excited for that, to be honest, if I do say so myself. But anyway, yeah. back in the scene. Uh, <laughs> right, I guess... Um, unless I'm just getting anything super important to do in the bar... I, this is when your time would be to say no. And they get anything that they, they really want to get done while waiting on word from Cyril about passage? No. no. Okay. okay. I, in that case, I'd, I guess we follow Crumbar and Moreno through High Rock. So, both of you stroll through High Rock. You st 
start going up the you know forty odd minute climb from the docks level up to the the city level. They get into like the middle of the city, and uh, I think by the time you get like maybe just five ten minutes away from the the climb down to the docks. Marino will just kind of break the kind of silence because he's not going to have spoke the whole time. Um, I was going to say, you don't really like me much, do you? He's not like paying attention to me. I think he's kind of just taking in the city sights and smiling at people that give him weird looks. Apart from the hostile welcome, what makes you think that? Your welcome was quite um, fitting, I thought. And he kind of turns around and smiles at you when he says that to highlight it. And he says, I've heard a lot about orcs, you see. Shame. What do you mean, shame? What do you know of my people? And he kind of looks at you. And he stops walking, and he says, I didn't realize for an orc you enjoyed dancing quite so much around the obvious. You know, the massacre, then. It looks like it's, all orcs massacre is something, I'm told. Yes, yeah. but not all orcs massacre their own tribe. Then you'll have to tell me the story. And he starts walking again. I'll be like... I'll, I'll kind of, like, check the bottles and just be like, that's a story that requires these. As far as you're concerned, I have no quarrel with you. <laughs> he looks like, oh, why would you? And just smiles. No, I just say it's like, just, uh, there have been so many new faces recently and it's uh, clouding my judgment slightly. And surely liquid found within a cloudy bottle won't exactly help clarity's sake, will it? Kind of smiles at you, like, slightly less, um, shame this time, slightly more genuine. Like, I'll just laugh, I'll just kind of laugh and be like, well, that's true, but I need something to put the hairs on my chest. He looks down at your chest, right? And looks back up at you and goes, This is out of peeling. I'll just be like, it, it's just the same. Who says it? Orcs. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Dwarves, too. He kind of just smiles. Goes, I think I understand. Even if I wouldn't want to. He just smiles. But yes. Let's go set up a camp. I'll tell you this, these my stories. Maybe you can tell me some of yours. What would you like to know? Where you came from, for a start. That would be good, nice. Why does it interest you? Do you wish to visit my home? Possibly. He laughs. And he I says, wish to visit many places. You might need a lot more hair on your chest if you were to visit my home. And I'll just grin and just be like, good thing we have two bottles. He looks down and says, yes, you'll need them. And he laughs. Um, what is... I can't, uh, is it just the... The, win the winter mountains? The ones up there? The Frost Range is what that place is called Frost that you're range. thinking of. Yeah, I will switch that other yeah. map. There you ah, go. Thank you. Right. We'll just be like, so walking away, I'll just say it's like, so can I guess that that means you're from the Frost Range then? And he just kind of grins. And he says, I might be. And just kind of like grins again. You can probably tell, you you know, he's not exactly hiding it very well. Yeah. I'll be like, Like, 
Yes, uh, I've technically been there, haven't I? No. Isn't that what I thought? Isn't I thought that? So is the Frost Range not on top of Anvil? No, the Frost Range is north of Forge. Sorry, North Forge. East. Right. Okay. So it was just just a normal mountain I was on top of. Yeah, you're, you're on. You're on Forge. You're on top of Forge. Yeah. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Yeah. No worries. Yep. Um, the Forge isn't the Frost Ranges. I'll be like, ah, nearly went there once before, actually. To think we could have met so much earlier. Yeah, possibly avoided any awkwardness. But... <laughs> he goes to say something and then he stops himself. He just smiles. It's all good. <laughs> um, like, so... I can assume that you're a would it would it be a frost dragon or would I call him a blue dragon or uh, sorry a white dragon? Yeah, you'd probably call him a white dragon. Uh, so I can can I assume that you're a white dragon then? I think from the evidence I have witnessed thus far in my small time with you, you can assume a lot of things. Why would you stop there? He just smiles at you again. Just, uh, right, now I'm not making this up. He mentioned something about being in exile. Nope. What, sorry? Nope. Didn't he say something about that or imprisonment or something like that? Nope. Oh, uh, when? What, best? What, Sean? <laughs> when? When? What are you talking when about? Last week. Oh, uh, no. 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 You asked okay. this uh, during the week and I also said no. Yeah. So when I said you should rewatch that thing, and then you said you yeah. rewatched the thing, and I feel like you've still heard him say he was in exile, and he didn't. I've still heard that. I'll need to re-listen to it because I feel like you're convinced I said this. I really am. I've somehow mm. managed to convince myself this. Hey, um, I, I might have said it, but he definitely didn't. Um. Yeah. So it'd be like um. Like, so, why have you come to visit us, of all people? Oh, I haven't. Quite a distance for you. He just smiles, because, oh no, I haven't. You interest me little. You're proving to be more interesting the more time I spend with you, if that makes any difference. It's just, uh, from what I can tell, it's not the e this world is not the easiest for dragons to. Uh, Holy shit! Thingy, um, reverse. What with uh, Magna's, what are they called again? Wards. 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 Thank you. I kind of just smile and goes, It would seem you know more than I on the subject. Another thing we can discuss? If you like. He just smiles politely again. You can probably he tell he doesn't, like, he doesn't necessarily care, right? Like is the tone yeah. you could hear from that. I, um, I mean, Arog's a big say. I think he's a while to get through it. You know, you skip to the part where you're outside, you can do if you don't want to talk to him anymore. Uh, yeah, no, I just don't like, I just don't want to be like trying to maybe talk about Magna and other shit in front of the public around. Mm, yeah. Luckily, though, know. because this is a mostly human city and we've got like, you know, an almost seven, to, uh, seven foot tall boy who looks. Probably looks more elven than human, even though they do, like they have no elven features other than they're really tall and really pretty, um, and look a bit otherworldly because of their you know chill to them, um, and an orc, you know, like yeah. he's do stand out a little, a little, um, 
especially since by this point we're probably going through like the the expensive part of town as well, and like where all the old nobles ha live. Um, but yeah, we can just skip to the part where you are outside at a camp. Yeah, just waiting on a uh, good old elf queen to happen to turn up, hopefully. But, I mean, yeah, how well, how far f like out of town are you actually wanting to go? Like just out of sight, like. So like five miles away from town. Um, I mean, within walking distance, yeah. Like, they're like a like an hour's walk outside. However long that would be. Who knows? That long, that exact length. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Meryl just like when you stop, after that length of time, he'll just stop and look around and goes. So is this where you are choosing to? Drink. He looks at the bottles again, looks at you. Just looks around at the area. And now, uh, look for like some kind of like fell, felled tree or anything kind of stumpy wise that we can sit on. And like, you could just knock a tree over, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. you have axes and stuff, right? So, yeah, I'm just like, yep, I basically I've set up like a wee camp. Um, and yeah, just. Be like, yep, this'll do that just fine. So what is it you're actually doing like to set up camp? Because what do you actually carry on you that's camp like? But you just have a bedroll? Uh, I have a tent, my friend. Okay, yep, you get tent. I have a tent, a mess kit, a tinder box, okay. some rations, yep. um some paint thinner. Yeah, so you know, just uh Basically, so, a tent, a fireplace, and a, something to drink at. Okay. So are you cutting down a tree, or just going to look for, like, firewood, as it were, that's on the ground? Yeah, like... What's your plan? Yeah, I cut down an entire tree, just, like, you know, find a big rock or something. Sure, you know, yeah. Something mm -hmm. stool-wise, or something that you could use as a makeshift table. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then just have a sit and just... Uh, have my tent set up and crack open the bottle and just be like, so you seem to have uh, decided to follow the part, uh, follow this party. I was, in, I was invited. Mm. I'm like, ah, yes, yes. Um, so. Trying to think of the way to work this seriously. Um, <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> we're like, we're like, what are you wanting to get out of following us? Um, like, what are your motivations? No, it's. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to word it. It's like, um, what are your reasons for coming down from the cross range? And then blinks. He says, As I said before, he narrows his eyes. I was asked to. I have I'll, said uh, this already. I'll, uh, has he said it to me? I thought he just said that to. I mean, he was speaking to the group most times he spoke. Nobody's really? ever really had him off in private until now. Special alone, Moreno uh, time. No, like, ah. Stupid, yes. sexy Moreno. <laughs> um, and yeah, well, he's. You know, it really bugs me that he's called Moreno. Yeah. Doesn't fit. Mm. Doesn't fit. Moreno means black haired. Mm. Doesn't fit. Spanish. Maybe you should ask him about that. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Uh, I'll just say to him then, I'll be like, you know, pouring. Like, put them in the, the cups, pour some of uh, the paint stripper, mm -hmm. and I'll uh, just be like, so, who was it that sent you? He just looks at you blankly and says, as I told your silver-tongued colleague, Serene, that is my business. 
I haven't asked you a series of invasive questions, have I? Don't mean to be invasive, just wondering more about you and where you've came. He says. Serena's a friend. So. I see. And am I not your friend? And, like, when he says that, I'll just, like, lift up the, like, lift up my mug and kind of, like, gesture towards his to do, him to do the same to his. Oh, he hasn't, like, touched the mug or anything. He's just watched you pour both. Um, yeah, that's why I'm gesturing to, mm -hmm. towards him. And then, like, when like, you do that, he says, ah, mug. Yeah, that's for you. He laughs and says, no thank you, I can smell it from here. Ah, come on. Not going to make an art drink by himself? Isn't that what friends are for? And, you know, I go to, like, kind of cheers it, I'm like... He just kind of looks at you blankly and says, I'm not going to make you drink it at all if you don't want to. Like, he's, like, not getting the tone you're going for at all. I, I just laugh and I was like, you know, I'm like, ha, ah, an orc wouldn't drink. Ah, oh, funny. But I was like, I was trying to toast to our new friendship. Ah, I see. Then, simply know I am pleased to hear this. But do not ask me to drink that. Then I would just grin and be like, ah, all the more for me. And I would just start sipping away. He says, like, precisely, yes. And he smiles. He hasn't, like, sat uh, down. I think he is, like, standing exactly where he stopped walking um, and has watched you, like, set everything up. Um, I will then proceed to just be like, well, you asked about the massacre. I believe you were mentioning a massacre that you were involved in from the inference I made. You seem interested in it. Allow me to uh, elaborate, and I'll uh, tell him the whole story of uh, Rumbar and the Hulking Suzanne. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. You leaving anything out, or telling him like what? What specifically are you actually telling? Just the fight, or anything about the surrounding context? What say? Like, what exactly are you telling him? Because there was a lot that happened at that point in time. So are you telling him purely that you fought a guy that you used to be, like, you know, used to be your leader? Or are you going to tell him that, that you got word that there was, like, orc attacks on villages and then you went exploring, you had the kind of Sophia with you guys, you went looking for, like, you know, her brother? Like, what? I'll what? tell him about how I got exiled and then, okay. well... Working on closing these portals, we heard about orc attacks that we got asked to go and investigate, which we did. Turned out to be my old tribe. Turns out I then pasted them all. Uh, we met Vishal. Um, that's where we first noticed the Rod of Pa. But now that's in our possession, and blah, de blah, de blah. Okay. More way! Yeah. Um, he sits and looks kind of... Like I say he sits, he stands and looks in deep thought. He says... So your tribe no longer exists beyond you then? Um, and I will... lift up, like, my hand that has all the rings on it. Mm-hmm. And looking at him, and I'll be like, I have a new trade now. He looks at your hand. Yes. What does that mean? He lifts his hand up the same way. And I'll just kind of like, you know, stretch my fingers out a bit more, and just kind of like flash the rings a bit. <laughs> like, each one of these are linked to. Uh, one of my companions. You've just been given inspiration, buddy, as well. Bye. 
Oh, thank Tom you very much. In chat. Thank you, Tom. Um, uh, big inspiration. Um, looks at them and says, Ah, it seems you have a fifth one for me also. And he smiles. Ah, uh, sadly not. That one uh, belongs to a dear friend of ours, Don Jabella. And where is she now? She uh, she had to go home for a while. Um, something about her following through with her wedding plans, you know? No. Like, you know, we're like, he's very... You expect this guy to be anything but a convinced bachelor? I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like yeah, she was getting married, so, and she'd been with us a while, needed a break, get back to her books and all that, you know? Right, some kind of scholar then. Exactly. I see. Good, good drinking, buddy. <laughs> we'll think last back to arm wrestle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says, yes, it seems like you've collected quite the, um, a few companions on your journey. Are you so welcoming to them? They are. They gained. They gained. In, they earned my trust. Oh, so there's a trial, is there? And I'll be like, you know, on that, I'll uh, I'll tan the rest of that cup. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, I can give you a trial if you want. And just put my arm down, uh, like, to arm, like in an arm wrestling position. I kind of like raised his eyebrow and looks at you. <laughs> and when Celeste said me. He kind of looks down at you and goes, What are you expecting here? Test of, call it a test of strength. Ah, so you measure trust and strength. And melee veritas. He laughs. <laughs> and he reminds you that's not a language that exists in a D and D. Okay, uh, whatever the uh, I know, I know. I just whatever read it. The would be. Uh, smacky, smacky. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you can say that. That's fine. Um. And then. Flash, yeah. good. And then. Uh, he says, "I'd hate to break you." That's not what we're aiming for. Yet, it is the result we would have. He just smiles at you. I'll just grin back at him. And... I like your way with words. He laughs. And he says, at least I'm getting something right. You don't look like the type of person that gets much wrong. Thank you. He just smiles, looking very pleased with himself. This is all new to me. Is this your first time away from the cross range? He smiles and goes, am I that obvious? All right. You've made it a bit more clear now. But, uh, allow me to, uh, welcome you to the rest of the world, then. It looks around. It looks wet. And muddy. Oh, this part is for sure. Kinda of looks down at, like, his boots that are all muddy. 
Can I ask, how come you've never left the frost range before? Why would I? I'm just kind of like gesture around me. It's like no one of you not had an interest in seeing what lies beyond. We have rocks and mud. And occasionally orcs, too. What orcs are mad enough to go to the frost ranges? Short lived ones. I would just laugh. I'd be like, ah, uh, I'd be like, I bet their deaths were glorious. To them, perhaps. Guys, anyone got in that they really want me to try and press him about? I was trying to find out his motives there, but... No, uh, I don't... Uh, he's just a random guy to me. I don't really yeah, particularly... No, 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 but it's no, cool. I've already tried. Um, I mean, it's Crumbar's kind of thing. It, it makes sense for Crumbar, so whatever you feel like. But, yeah. I don't particularly want anything from him. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Adri, yeah. anything you want to add, Adri? Okay, I'm just confused because so far everybody that we've met, we kind of knew either, you know, what their purpose was or who they served. Mm. So I feel with this guy, we're kind of not getting much. I mean, we're guessing he serves the white simply because he is a white. Mm -hmm. But we don't quite know who sent him or why. I mean, even Arth turned up and said it. her entire job title as her name, you know? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, you know? And and we knew from the beginning that Rosira is like Magnus Man, mm -hmm. and we knew from the beginning, obviously, that, you know, who others are and such. So I, I'm a bit on edge, and I think Arya would be in that sense because we don't quite know exactly what the fuck he wants and mm -hmm. whose person he is because he's he, he sounds like a barbie dragon that's just been out of the <laughs> nest for the first time so that there must be a purpose for that you know so yeah. I, I don't know who set him up to come to us and why and such so i'm like mm -hmm. you know looking at him with like a side eye sort of like glance like trying to assess him Fair. I, and I'm not yeah. succeeding much, you know. Sean? Mm. I don't even know what else to ask him. I've got one task. Second, what were you going to say, Sean? Um, we, we uh, maybe this is like a weird like race thing, but I feel like if we we just name dropped, um, Candir, kind of like immune, immune from things from him, like he, he's not going to try and stab us in the back if we name drop it or anything, so. I mean, Serena already did that. Yeah, it's like plot armor. And he definitely got more interested in what he had, what she had to say. He pushed Isla out of the way, so he could stand next to her and be like, oh, "Really, you're bonded mm -hmm. with uh, Kandir, you see? Tell me more." Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he would um, risk uh, like having to deal with her and like do anything weird with us. That's why I'm kind of relaxed around him. Like, what's he gonna? Is he really gonna take that risk? No way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, do anything and we'll tell your boss. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your boss likes us to back off, buddy. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of mafia levels of protection, really, isn't it, in this way? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I can understand yeah. that. Right. Um, Scott, yeah? Yeah, so I will just ask him, like, so what was it you did in back home. I don't really know much of dragons when they're in their I don't want to say natural habitat, but you know, it's that kind of way. I was like, I've only ever met dragons that have been home? part, yeah, like part of this world, <laughs> eh, part of the global society. So what is it you say to him? 
what is it when you're at home? What's it yeah. like at home? Yeah. So what's it? Yeah. So I'll just say that. I'll be like, so what? What's it like at home? Quieter. Like, you know, looks around at all the nothing that's there. I'm like, that's not quite enough. He just stares at you. Hmm. He says, It is an adjustment having so many questions that seem to lead nowhere. You wrap them so tightly in words. He kind of shakes his head. I'm really trying to figure out what it was that you did back home. He kind of looks at you, confused. What I did back home? Are you making an accusation? What have you heard of Moreno? I've heard nothing of Moreno. Precisely. So, I would, but I would like to know more about Moreno. There is nothing to know. He just smiles, like, almost like joking and apologetic, right? And I'll, be, and I'll just... You know, I'll be smile at him and be like, "Well, if you stick with us. There'll be many things to know about you." He gives you like a funny look, as a hmm, okay, like not sure if he approves of that, but also kind of curious enough to hang around and see him. Um, kind of weird look that he's got. He says, "What exactly are we doing here in the rain?" In looks around. Do you not enjoy cities? Not really, but that's not why I'm out here. You heard the message I got Basti with the send, right? He just stares at you. I figured if she was going to meet me, it wouldn't be in the city. So I came outside. Would she not have replied to you? Had she an intention? The Elf Queen is a interesting lady. He laughs. He says, I've never met her. I just smile and be like, you know, showing off the cloak that she gave me, this kind of thing. It's like, this was a gift from her. I'm sure it had a price fitting. He smiles. Our and uh, uh, can 